What's up everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video. So guys, in this video, I'm going to take you through few of the best practices for Amazon Tax Track. So let's get started. So the very first point that we have here is that uh, ensure that document text is in a language that Amazon Tax Track supports and currently it supports English, German, Spanish, Italian, French and Portuguese. For image documents, high quality image is recommended. At least it should have 150 DPI. Then ensure that the file format of the document should be in one of the formats that Amazon Tax Track supports. Currently, it supports PDF, TIFF, JPEG, and PNG. Then avoid converting or downsampling of the document if it is in a format that Tax Track supports before uploading it to Amazon Tax Track. Ensure that the orientation of the document is correct. You can consider using the auto orientation solution to fix the orientation or any tilts before passing the document to Amazon Tax Track then the document content should be upright for better results then we have enhancing image document with image processing techniques like binarization uh, might give you poor results in some cases because i believe that amazon text track also apply image enhancement technique before doing the text extraction so dual enhancement uh, might deteriorate the image quality so before you decide to move on with the image processing techniques like binarization make sure you try it out first and then uh, opt out for any of the image processing techniques then for table information extraction make sure the tables are visually separated and are not overlapping with other elements right and should have a kind of less complex structure for better results then the upright text in the document will give you uh, better results then make sure to use confidence score uh, wherever necessary to make informed decisions depending on the business application or the business use case. And finally, we have the human review. So you can consider human review for sensitive business application uh, wherever critical decision making is involved, like for example, financial decision. So guys, these are a few of the best practices that I wanted to highlight. So you can consider this best practices to get uh, better results while working with Amazon Tax Track. So guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover as a part of this video. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.